What's up everybody, my name is Scooch, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. This is a game we started about a week ago, but I ended up not playing any more of it for a week, because I was trying to beat getting over it, but since we already beat that, now we're going to be doing one shot in this game at the same time, so let's just jump back in. Da -da -dum. All right, what were we doing? We're checking out the rest of the house now, right? I am getting followed by the son of the guy in the bed. Da -da -dum. I want to I want to look at his instruments. Ba bum A dusty cello with a with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He he usually just plays the scales though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Received note aged cello. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. An aged digital piano. He plays this too? No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's fifth. Da -dun -dun. Anything else to investigate? This was his lamp. Let's go check what's in this room over here. Anything interesting? Ooh, there you go. Toilet paper? Do I really gotta investigate toilet paper? Ooh, Mava's gonna love this. Hello? Code 32, Ava. Code 32! Rectify it! Nah, I don't wanna. Dag Navit Neil, you know it drives me crazy when people just leave it on the counter. <laughs> Put the toilet paper onto the dispenser! <laughs> Magic word? Put the toilet paper on the onto the dispenser, please. <laughs> well, since you asked nicely. Oh, all right. <laughs> she just really hates that. That's pretty funny. The falcon is in the nest. What falcon? Is it the freaking toilet paper on? Is the freaking toilet paper on the dispenser or not? Yeah, it's there, snug as can be. Thank heavens. <laughs> anyway, go get things wrapped up. I'm heading back. Okay, all right. I'll go do that after I check out what's down here. Who's out? Now we are in the kitchen. Hey. That guy scared the heck out of me, to be honest. What the hell? <laughs> he didn't even make a noise. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Huh? Aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Received note hibiscus. Alright, let's check this now. Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute, actually. Why would you be embarrassed of your parents' love, you jerk butt? All right, let's check this thing now. Ta -da -tum. A model of a small fixed-wing fixed wing aircraft. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Because he was a pilot, yes, yes. It's all coming back to me. Of course, of course. Time to get things wrapped up, I guess. Let's do the thing. Configuring system to patient Neuralink. All right, I am ready. I am ready, doctor. What is it? Uh, Colin status? How's our guy doing? He's in stable condition, at least for now. We're ready to proceed when everything's set up. Good stuff. Ava's just getting something from the car while the machine configures. Uh, past encounters? You again, huh? Small world. Which patient did we work with last again? Hmm, I believe it was Aubrey Jones. And before then, Rob Perez, Maya Green, and Johnny Wiles. That dates quite some time back. What are you, the reigning memory champ? <laughs> Frankly, I'd be more surprised if you don't remember each one of their names. But I guess since I don't do this all the time like you guys, it's easier for me to recall them. I never said I forgot any of them. Alright, Doc's name. Excuse me for being more of a face guy, but I somehow can't recall your name. That's okay, I prefer to just be called Doctor. Oh, I bet you'd like that, ya hooligan. <laughs> I bet you'd like that a lot, ya gosh dang hooligan. Anything else to look at? Oh, of course! Go upstairs! Of course, why didn't I think of that? Yes, Scooch. Yes. Here we are. An apartment with two floors? Reminds me of a double-decker bus. 
Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. I'm sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. All right, let's go this way. Let's go this way, Asher. Looks like they've missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up, but I guess I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, it's taped up, all right. He doesn't want anyone reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Unseal and open. For the sake of science and, uh, the clients. Oof, what is it? Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Huh? Literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. <laughs> Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded. I suppose. But either way, I can't do much with this as it is. Do I keep it on me? Nope, never mind. Guess I'll put it back there. Let's look somewhere else. Received note, green book. Is there anything else to look at? Can I look at this? What's out? Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. What is it, Asher? What might help me prepare to dive into your dad's head? Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I should go get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Okay, okay. So we're about to dive through this guy's memories to make him feel fulfilled, right? Okay, there he is. Falling in love, there's his firstborn. Walking his son to school. A uh, picture with his son, son being angsty. Carrying son, son graduating, son playing soccer. Son leaving for college, I'm assuming. Them playing instruments together, that's so cute. God, it feels intrusive that I'm staring at somebody else's life, but that's my job, so I guess there's nothing I could do about that feeling, huh? Is the machine set up? Is it time? Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has, has Rox sent the scans? No. She said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. Hmm. Then again, you know Roxanne, she's always a little cucumbered up in the head. Whoa, language, Ava. <laughs> cucumbered up? I'm gonna start using that, since I'm trying to curse less. Anyway, I guess we could still start in the meantime. Your helmet's on the recliner. Pa pam Alright, get on the recliner. Oh, I guess I'm controlling her. Ta-da-dum! Time to jump on the recliner! Hobao! Commence memory traversal? Ready. I'm ready! Wait. Before you begin, can you, can you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Er, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Well... Elaborate. Because I myself haven't played the other games, so this is good. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. S says the technician. Who, who knows best? <laughs> the machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it would be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be lo logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now till then. 
we'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick arse decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? I'd have... <clears throat> I'd have thoughts that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. That's a weird thing to say, Asher. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Continue elaborating. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's little need to interfere anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation based on the mental state of a single moment, stretched through a lifetime, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo, man. <laughs> Some powerful voodoo, man. Anyhow, no amount of volition is go gonna help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yeah, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but good luck. Lux for lotteries, we're professionals. We're professionals! Ooh, sharp words. Sharp words indeed. See ya on the other side! Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. Whoa! We're going in. Oh, oh, oh! Now is, I guess, where the game actually starts, right? Okay, I am old colon. Or I am. The doctors in old Colin's life. All right, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the reigning heavy sleeper champ over here. Oh, you gotta be a jerk, Watts. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not her client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment, it looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. Yeah! Character customization! Oh, sick! Character customization, huh? Okay, I definitely am not doing facial hair. Mithril socks. Plus 50 agility. Socks. Dinosaur socks. I can't even see the freaking socks. I'll just take Mithril. I know that stat isn't real, but I'm going to do it. Uh, and as for hair, hmm. I kind of have a cool afro in real life. But uh, let's just do, let's just keep the mid part. I kind of fell in love with Watts as he was. So, Neil Watts, you'll stay as you are. Finalize? Yes! Ta-da! You look the same. Huh, I guess the system computed that my handsomest look is just how I am. That's cool! <laughs> I wonder, though. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen, you'd better not be. Tag, you're it! Neil, you son of a... Now to customize Rosaline. Let's do it. Ta da dum. I could give her a beard. <laughs> I could give her a wizard mustache. A wizard beard. Regal face carpet. I'm going to leave them both the same way. Actually, no. I'm going to do buns. Saucy bangs. Ooh. Ooh. Looking so good. These are better than the hairstyles I could choose for, for Watts. Uh, let's do saucy bangs. And we'll do giraffe print socks. Finalize. Yes. Yes! I mainly changed something because I want to see if the dialogue changes. Well, that could have been worse. I guess I'll wear it like this until we find Colin. You got lucky this time. I was really counting on something more 
face comb worthy. He literally added the same things for both characters. I don't want to know what you meant by that. Nice socks, by the way. Mm-hmm. Current memory position and time can be viewed by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. That's good to know. Oh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. Now we're invisible, I guess. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. Yeah, I literally screamed at the top of my lungs. Hiya! <laughs> oh, let's talk to him. Colin? What the? This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Receive note. Unstable copy. I should be reading these notes, right? Da da da. Um. There's an odd instance of colon on the most recent memories balcony. All right, is that it? Yep, that's everything. I'm gonna save just in case, because we never know what happens. We never know what's going to happen. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. Ba bum bum. Let's go check out the rest of the house. Ba bum. Hello, colon. Where art thou? I'm looking for you, colon. Oh, oh, oh! He's probably doing something with that weird book. Maybe he's ripping out the pages and gluing new ones. What you doing, Colin? I caught you. What's out? Oh, nope, never mind. Anything interesting here? Still fool here? Seems like he must have cleared it very recently. Huh? This bookshelf. It got nothing on it now, but one odd book when I checked. And that one's not here. That's weird. An antique dust-covered mirror and in a bunch of boxes. Huh? That's weird. So he removed all the books except for the one that was empty, but it obviously wasn't supposed to be empty, and I don't think the pages faded. I think he just ripped out all the pages and added new pages. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm just speculating at this point. Hello? Someone's in there. Someone's in there using the bathroom, and I gotta bug them from the other side. Maybe I can find Colin outside, actually. da da dum Let's go find Colin! Where art thou, Colin? I'm looking for you. Uh, pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his old home. His own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kind of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Oh, hey, look. That's gonna be interesting. If his memory's all messed up, and then everything starts getting all ruined by the memory. Colin, what you doing there, champ? Target acquired. Let's go. Oh, but you looked nice. <laughs> Meh, I like it this way better. Turning on entity interaction. Oh, she went back to normal. <laughs> entity interaction. I'm no longer invisible. Colin. Hello. Colin. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline. I am a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Manhattan. And he turned blue! That's a Watchman reference! <laughs> Idiot, God. You are Dr. Neil Watts. Huh? How did you know? Your name tag. I gotta make Colin's voice older because he's super old. This isn't what it looks... This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin, your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. It's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. More like both, actually. <laughs> huh? Fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're... They're... Right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time and it's best if we get started. You're the most recent slice of colon that we can load up. And the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course. Why would I not? Good. Uh, I'll keep your state saved so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run a save on a state. Yes, your highness. 
<laughs> Why is Watt so stupid? Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish. Now, in order to help you relive your life here to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then, we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self. And run the algorithm for you to live to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. There are items of importance that you connect one memory with the other, with another. Do you have one here that we can jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. Yeah, I thought we were going to ask him that first. Uh, what is what is it that you want anyway, Colin? Is it going to be weird? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. Is it going to be a picture of another woman or something? It's his Sigmund contract. The text is rather blurry, but... Memento what? Detected? It's a memento. Sweet! Let's move! This memento's barrier shatters by itself since it's so recent, but the next one won't be so easy. What's that mean? We'll need to charge it up first. Prepare. Prepare the memento. Load up the memento. Memories go furthest when linked together. What? Oh, do I gotta do like a match four thing? Uh-oh. I effed up pretty bad. Oh, I guess that worked. Nice. That kind of worked. I could have done that a lot better. I just didn't know how it was played. You could go on the other side and make it go up, huh? Damn it, I'm an idiot. Whoopsie daisy. Activate memento. Activate. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Later. Later, nerd. No, just kidding. Goodbye, Colin. Goodbye. And hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Younger Colin. What age is he at now? Oh, I'm still old. Still old, Colin. Wait a minute. This place. <laughs> this is our job, isn't it? It's the Sigmund Guest House. Ah, where they wine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I visited. Looks a bit different from when I was last here, too. Let's check it out. Okay, what's that at the bottom? Explore and interact to find memory orbs. Good to know. Requires one to proceed. Okay, I need one memory orb to proceed. Oh, over here. Yes. Hello, can I talk to you? What is that? What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. Ooh, I got a memory orb. Now I only need one to proceed. That means I can go into the house. Sure, I'm gonna just see if I can watch them open the door. Nope, they just fade in. So I go in with my real hands. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Okay. What's up with you? Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there, once upon a time. Oh. I need to go back home soon. Okay. Well, I got another memory orb, so maybe I can go in here now. Here he is. This photo is taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure got a lot of requests for that. So if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna go take a nap. 
<laughs> it's not so bad. At least we get it done fast and go home early. <laughs> so many people just want fame, huh? Da -da -da. If you'd like to choose fame and riches for your last wish, consider it done. That's so interesting. Just the whole story of this is so interesting. And I think that resonates with a lot of people, the whole wanting of a second chance thing. So I can imagine why this game is going to be so emotional. You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreached goals and secret desires, you name it. We're your genie, Colin. What is your wish? So, if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes? <laughs> Boo! You know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I walk through these doors, and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but... I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I've lived a happy life, and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets. I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You don't want us to change anything? Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better. We can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you a chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you, have to, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life with my family intact. So you want to, you want to waive specificity from the contract? That's so confusing. With something like that, I hope you know there's no guarantees of results. Uh, I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you. That's all I ask. That, that is a weird one. No, Colin's wish. That is a really weird one. Try not to change anything, and we have free reign over his fate. What kind of last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. <laughs> we're the we're their best people, Ava. Booyah! <laughs> God dang it, Watts. Actually, about that. Never mind. Was it gonna be Ava and someone else? But that someone else was like, that's dumb. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Where's the memento? I think we should go back to the last memory and ask Colin about what he said there. Can't really expect reliable answers from that, but we might eventually have to try. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, though. Let's just continue for now. Where is the memento? Best docs in the house. Booyah, you picked the right people for the job. <laughs> Wait, isn't there supposed to be a memento around here? I'm still new to the, to, the, to the mechanics. What a waste, just sitting here looking pretty. Is that the machine we use? Hello? Welcome to Simon Corp. I already read you. I already read you. Oh, here it is, the memento. Memento detected. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? 
Well, back in the days, you kept on yelling dumb juven juvenilities when shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. God, I love Watts. He's a dick, but I love him. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh, mm-hmm. So you can. Wabao. <laughs> Ta-da. Memento grabbed. Prepare. And away we go. Okay, now do I gotta... Let me think. I can move it both ways, right? Okay. Uh, first things first. You move that way. Oh, you can't do five. All right, so best interest is to do sets of four. So boom, and this will be four. Okay, wait. Uh, boom, that's four there. Move this, boom, boom. Oh, I accidentally did that one. Uh, whoopsie daisy, I guess. Push this one over here. And then push this up. What bow? Oh, I didn't even have to do all of them. Come on. I was thinking so much about that. God dang it. Okay, let's go. Activate memento. Activate memento. Ah! Hadouken. I love Watts. He's so great. Watts is a dummy. He seems like what I would be if I had this job. Ta -dum -dum. Ah, I know this place. A slightly younger version of Colin. I'd better head out now before I forget. Here, take this hat, Pops. With the headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. All right, all right. How weird if it stops this multi-directional nagging. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking with my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny. You see, she's single and... Look, thanks, but uh, I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? We wouldn't have res we wouldn't have to resort to that if you visit us more often, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, but that hat is a hundred percent cotton. Well, all right, you're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlords of the ducks. <laughs> Bye, Ma. Proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like, you know what I mean. Don't stray out too long this time of year. Stay out. Whoops. And so Asher leaves. My god. This game just hits everything. <laughs> it hits every emotion in the book. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. <laughs> What's wrong with Jenny anyway? <laughs> probably nothing, but you know how it is. Oh wait, probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you, too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Mmm. <laughs> Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? Uh, I'm texting him Jenny's info to set them up. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> He's driving. Do it after he gets home. <laughs> Good call. Make sure to include some pictures, too. The good ones, with, with lighting coming from the side. <laughs> no words. No words. I agree. No grandkids. Regret. No grandkids. He wants grandkids, I gotta find a way to give him grandkids. Also, we've been playing for a while now, so you know what that means. Is that a save? Damn, that's a long file. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna end it here because we've been playing for a while and I don't want this episode to be too long. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or if you like this series, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or do whatever you can to remind me that I'm awesome because I think that you're awesome and you have an awesome face and I hope you have an awesome day. Until the next episode, I will see you again. This game really does hit almost every emotional tree there is. Being a good son or, or being a good child and uh, having regrets 
and and trying to feel fulfilled, etc., etc. It's so god dang feelsy already. <laughs> <laughs>